Am I live? Am I actually live? There we are. Um, hello. Welcome back to the, welcome back to the stream and shit. Uh, we got the fucking state of play today. Um, I have to send out the links early because they said that the live stream would start in 15 minutes, but the live stream is technically started now. So now I've got to uh, actually set up. What do we got? What do we got? So I actually have to send out my stream notifications early. Or late, I guess. So, don't mind me if this is a little quiet. Ba -ba 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 -da. I might actually just... Because this is so goddamn slapdash that I actually have to... I was going to play a game today, but then I realized, oh shit, the Sony event. Alright, those are the personal ones sent out. This is gonna look weird on your guys' end, but I'm in a secondary window. Wait, I don't have to type that. Bump! Do we have anyone in chat? No, we don't. That's fine. This is messy. Let's see what do we got. Howdy Cherry, what's up? Actually, let me take this out. Nice hat. By Gravity Falls fangirl. Kind of. But it's actually more that I hate my forehead, so I wear a hat indoors like a jackass. I'm more fond of this shirt. That should be all my bases covered, though. Whoa! God damn it, it's bright. Uh, also, so fun fact. Look great with a hat and bangs. I don't know how to get a hat and bangs going, but um, I found out that if I don't have blinds up there, which means I actually have to replace my fucking curtain. Um, shit, you not. I look like a fucking Nosferatu from Vampire the Masquerade. Like, horrifically pale and unproportional. Uh, sound might be a little glitchy. Let me see, actually, does this? Yeah, okay, the volume slider actually works on this. Howdy, Mad. What's up? Also, uh, if you guys see smoke in the background, don't worry. I know. It's incense. It's right there. So don't worry. The house is not on fire. I'll probably notice first. Oh god, you're right. They are gonna show Avengers, aren't they? 
shit. Are, are you guys ready to shill? Are you guys ready to pog? To... Wait. Yeah, fuck it. That's the poggers. Fuck it. I wanna fucking walk. Don't worry. We've also got ourselves three bottles of water. So I'm not gonna get my fucking throat dry like we did with Student Union. Got coffee because I'm still not awake yet. God. I, like, you took the wind out of my sails by saying, oh yeah, they're gonna show off Avengers. Ugh. Mint tea is really good for the throat? Yeah, but shush, we only have vanilla. I hope VR is cool. VR is always cool. But it sucks that, like, to my knowledge, my favorite VR is only available on, like, one VR platform. Uh, yeah, they might show off a gameplay demo of Wraith, but that's... Eh. I doubt it. They're... They're probably more likely to show off Werewolf. I expect Wraith to get no advertising. Like, period. Um, but, like, my favorite VR game is, like, linked to one platform and only if you use the, uh, homebrew community. Because it's, to my knowledge, Tea with God is only available on Oculus Quest. Which kind of sucks. Actually, hey, Mad, if you haven't already, could you throw the link for the stream into your server? Uh, it'd be nice to see Wraith. Yeah. Want a good horror VR game, but it's in World of Darkness specifically. I agree. Uh, good horror VR already exists. There's, um... Lies Beneath is really solid. Uh, Tea with God is only horror if you get wigged out by the weird shit that you see in the background. doing it's mountain dew live wire oh oh it's just the i can look at that right there my playstation's right there re2 vr yeah i'd want re7 to come to to come to PCs hey VR I'm more producer toys for bob and i'm here to how's this actually sounding now that people are talking about time Crash 4 is a direct this is one of the ones I'm actually curious about. The devious villains Neo Cortex and Doctor Entropy have finally escaped their interdimensional prison, leaving an evil. They're not going to be announcing any PS5 now shit. Got their apparently, eyes set, not only simply conquering this dimension, but all dimensions, and it's up to Crash and Coco to save the day. Yo, are they going to have like Crash Bandicoot? Um, about time is the first totally new game in the Crash. Are they going to have like fake Crash, so GBA Crash, uh, Crash of the Titans Crash? Fans. As they well as they mentioned multiverses. Franchise. First, we made sure to incorporate the classic tense, precise, and perspective shifting. This does look like what I want out of a Crash Bandicoot then, game, though. To introduce Jump looks a little stiff, but I can't wait to show you tell today. without it being in my Let's hands. In Sanity Beach. This is where Crash's adventure first started, and where we picked things up again in Crash 4. But there have definitely been changes since we first saw Insanity Beach all those years ago. And throughout Crash 4, you'll see the I like how bouncy all the animations our are. Style. Our art teams wanted to take inspiration from not just the original games. Warped kind of mid. Well, most of the games past the PS1 are kind of shit. All while also delivering bigger, more awe-inspiring dimensions to explore. But this looks alright. Throughout Crash 4, you'll see wide open new vistas, Wait, Warped is on PS1. What am I talking about? And lots of Twin Sanity is the best one, and let's be real. Also comes new additions to the platforming. Like having the wall running, you say? Rope swing, rail grind, and zip line as well. Okay, okay. In the original trilogy, specifically Crash Warped, 
there were certain moments in the game where Crash would change outfits. Think Crash wearing oh, a that's cool. jacket when riding <gasps> Yo, a motorcycle. Yo, can we get <laughs> Tribal <laughs> Tack Crash? To expand upon. So we have loaded the game with tons of awesome skins that you can earn and wear throughout the game. These skins are totally that's actually kind of cool. And a fun way to express yourself. Titanfall Bandicoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. There's no MTX here. Skins are earned by completing different challenges. And that's addressed because life. of the nitro card. Crash 4 also introduces the quantum masks. The powerful protectors uh, microtransactions. of time Crash and space. Instead of Titanfall Creed, you get Titanfall Crash. Look, I'd actually accept that. Player. Whether it's Ika Ika, who gives you the ability to instantly flip your center oh, of gravity. Oh, that's cool. It's button. like V V V V V V V. Kapunawa, who allows you to slow down the world around you. Or Lonnie Loli, who allows you to phase shift elements in and out of existence. Bending Crash voice by The Rock. And was he? Your environment with these new masks is a must. We also can't wait to talk to you about the fourth mask, Akano. But that's gonna have to wait for another. Oh. Day. What we can tell you today, though, is that Crash oh. isn't the only character you get to take control of. Jerry Khan, aka CZW. Starters, Thank you for you following. Play the entire game is Coco. Any level that you can play as Crash, you can also play as Coco. <laughs> it was also very important for us that she take a more prominent role in the yeah. story this time as well. But that's not all. Love it. We've got a few Love other characters that you'll get to control at key points in the adventure, so that they can provide their own fresh perspectives. Okay, I, I didn't expect to, to have to like a spaz out vortex. moment. He's all about using his blaster to change an enemy in his path. That's in cool. In addition to playing as Cortex, we're excited to reveal that for the first time, you'll also get to tail slap your way through crates as Dingo Dial. I repeat, I'm okay with that. You get to play as Dingo I'm Dial okay with Crash that. 4. A lot has changed in I wasn't we wanting that, but thank you. In fact, he hung up his old flamethrower rocket launcher combo when he decided to retire from a life of villainy and open a diner. Oh. Unfortunately for Dingo, fortunately for us, his adventure begins by witnessing the destruction of said beloved diner and getting sucked into another dimension. Oh, it's like The Last of Us 2, but, the, but instead of Joel, it's a diner. Finally, there's one more surprise I'm incredibly excited to show you today. The Crash I'm actually kind of surprised that new some detective vision play through the game. in my the Crash about taking on time trials or discovering all the hidden secrets. Well, for Crash Four, we want okay. to bring something brand new to the table. So we teamed up. With I'm actually really, really happy that they're showing off Crash first because, like, this is one of the games I was curious it's about. Souped up, bump a berry fueled take on a mirror mode. Not only are perspective shifted. But now, each of the hmm. dimensions are rendered in a new and unique art style that, that looks really changes cool. the look and feel of the experience. It's a bad joke and you're proud of One me? Damn right, bitch. You to traverse through a neon wasteland, while another tasks players with spinning paint. I love the paint. I love forward. the paint so much. That's We've cool. Got one that feels like an old timey movie with the overcranked camera speed increasing the actual speed of gameplay as well. That's really sick. Once unlocked, players can replay all the game's levels with a totally new and dynamic look and feel. It's an incredibly fun feature that is going to give every player, yeah, the paint looks fun. The completionists out there, a reason to revisit each level again. This might be an instant buy, exciting experience, depending on release date, of course. So, that's some of the new stuff that we have in store for you in Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. All right, good shit. Experience the space and October 2nd. Fuck October yeah, second. didn't have to do that one, but okay, cool. Today's state of play is loaded with third party Yeah, Activision PS4 making a better PSVR. Activision making a better PS4 Naughty Dog game than Naughty Dog. We open the show Hold with on, a new is... look at Crash 4. It's oh. about time coming to PlayStation 4 on October 2nd. Naughty Dog too busy killing old people now to feed what their fan base really wants. The Australian memes. Crash Bandicoot went, way, went through way more pain than Ellie. You get it. You get it. More Hitman. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, it's gonna be good. It's the new Hitman series. We already saw Hitman 3 at the last PlayStation event. Besides, Yo, it's what? Your day. You should mingle. Excuse me? Oh, don't worry about that. My art speaks for its Okay? Well, I have to go. That's excessive. I'll call you when I get back to you. I. It's VR. Uh huh. That's sick. Can I like take his head and just bash it into that toilet? Yo. 
<laughs> what? Like the entire trilogy? Okay, okay. Um, all right, what are we getting next? It's not actual gameplay, but if it's a tone trailer, whatever. It might be by David Cage. Don't know. What the fuck is this? Elden Ring? Yo! If it's Omicron 2, I will lose my shit! If we get Omicron 2 at all, if David Cage acknowledges Omicron at all, I will be surprised. Yeah, your introduction to Omicron was the door moment. What the fuck? Is this Brain? In, in 2020, we're getting Braid. I don't have words to describe how fucking pumped I am. We are happy to announce Braid Yo! Anniversary Edition. It's the classic puzzle adventure where you manipulate time, hand repainted for modern high resolution. That's Many areas gorgeous. have been re-envisioned to make them more unique. Huh. And it's even more like a living painting with brushstrokes animating the world. There are more than nine pixels for each pixel in the original game. There are new animations for That's smoother motion, sick. improved sound and music to enhance the mood, and many hours of developer commentary and interviews on subjects oh, that like puzzle design, sick. programming, and visual art. And you we can use the old the graphics most commentary in any game ever. So if you want to learn how video games That's are made, Braid Anniversary Edition will be a really good resource. We hope you'll enjoy the game. Yeah, I might buy this for just like a dev year. toolkit. What what platforms? Braid. Uh, braid-game.com. I'm gonna have to check that out to see if it's releasing on anything else. Atlas is a mythic adventure set on a mystical island. I thought we were Let's focusing on PS4 events. Footage captured from PS5. Hold on. Hi everyone, this is Matt Nava from Giant Squid. I'm excited to share more with you today about our upcoming game, The Pathless. Giant Squid sounds familiar. I'm gonna look them up. The Pathless is an open-world, mythic adventure game set in a vast forest. You play as the Hunter. The Hunter is a master of archery. She can shoot talismans to fill her dash meter, which allows her to bound across the landscape. Uh... Big Bo. Big Bo would be cool if everyone so in this fucking decade didn't have a goddamn bow. This design is critical to making it possible to shoot even while moving fast and performing acrobatic maneuvers. Yeah, like the movement's really you good. Instantly feel as skilled as the hunter herself. Giant Squid Games, who are they? Oh, they did Abzu. Okay, that explains the visual style. With help from the eagle, you can even fly. The bond between the hunter and the eagle is central in the pathless. I was gonna say, yeah, Bose started getting kind of overdone in 2016, but Bose started seemingly becoming a symbol of empowerment, I think? Uh, ever since, like, uh, Katniss and Lara Croft had them. Make sure you yeah, I like the big bow. To keep it clean and in good flying condition. Aww. I, oh, I love her look. Now that I actually see a close-up. It's like You'll BB. Find secrets all over the island. It's like BB. You know I love BB. Okay, but if Master Chief were to get a bow, will let you upgrade the eagle's low key, like on the fucking down low, I wouldn't mind. 
because we could probably see like impact as well. She kind of does look like a Rescarang character. Atlas is all about finding your own way forward. So unlike most open world games, there's no map. Instead, the hunter can use her mask to peer into the spirit world and discover distant landmarks. So it even shows you where you've been. That's the logical uh, adaptation of what Ghost of Tsushima did. Vision. Giant cursed spirits, the source of the darkness, will pose a constant threat to you on your like, quest. Like this is less hype for me in like. Try to separate you okay. From eagle. Tell me more. Okay. Sekiro bull boss battle. Cool. Send you a pick a huntress so you can catch what I'm talking about. Uh, all right. Let me check Discord. Stay still in the light to avoid detection. Oh, that's... That looks really cool. <laughs> Holy shit. I love the lighting. Oh, Huntress does have a huge ass. You're right. I have to play Risk of Rain. You won't be able to take on the cursed spirits until you've returned light to the obelisks. Okay. Oh, Breath of the Wild Towers. Are restored, I feed my son, he grows level. stronger. Chase them down through the forest to corner them in a dramatic uh, Risk of Rain one is skippable due to the sheer unfair difficulty, but two is way better. I want to play either, really. Holy shit, we have five people tuning in? Jesus. This looks really, really cool. Like, it looks like a calm. She's taking chunks out of that motherfucker. Okay. Okay, let's keep this going. Yeah, I'm... I love this too. I'm mostly just like... Sell me more on it. Because it's currently making me do a little... And Eagle will have to defeat the cursed spirits to bring light back to the world. She may not have taken chunks out of him. He may have I always hope you've had enjoyed the crook. this overview of the pathless. We've only scratched the surface. Yeah, this There's looks so much fascinating. More to explore and discover. The pathless is coming out later this year. Thanks for mm. watching. Oh, that's good. See, I will say this. Sony has their exclusive game, Joss, down pat. It's starting to sound more Mongolian Next than... Next up, let's see what's in store for Spelunky 2. Okay, I guess. I'm the creator of Spelunky. For Spelunky, Spelunky was two, fine. I wanted to make sure we made something that got old fans excited and also brought in new players. Granted, I probably couldn't get into it. Uh, it was important we didn't change the I things that made Spelunky Wait, did they announce experience Spelunky 2 at some point? Did I just, like, miss it? So many people became fans of the game through their friends and family. Wait, is this... And even what do you mean Dick Twist internet. game? That's one reason why we're adding what? online multiplayer. So that more people can play the game together. It's been announced for a while. No one's talked about it. Does no one care about? To make sure Does no one care about, sure no one care well about Spelunky anymore? Difficult. In Spelunky 2, when you do runs and discover new characters, you'll also be building an in-game oh, like community this. and family. Little sloth man with a I pompadour. The of Spelunky 2 to feel much more rich and dynamic than Spelunky 1. It's gonna Those uh. Full. Big Mouth Boys are a little woof, but hey, no one cares ways. about Spelunky. Now Spelunky was 
For example, good. they'll be able to ride turkeys. But... You know what I mean? Like... Find hidden passageways. Good, but... And you'll have to didn't choose between capture me? paths as you make your way deeper into the caves. As a result, the stories players create will have much more texture to them. Okay. Even after many, many hours of playing, I still have so difficult that most that people ignored it. I actually like the difficulty, but like I just it didn't In capture. Spelunky me. One runs often centered around the shops and how you chose to interact with them. So in Spelunky 2, we've expanded the shopping experience and made them more nuanced and exciting. And also added new hmm. characters that can help you or hinder you. Hitman VR better fucking Even how amazing the Spelunky like, community is. That shit it's hard looks to like say it how long fucks. it will take to find the deepest secrets. But I think the great thing about Spelunky is that the deepest secrets are the ones that even I don't know. Spelunky about. bullshit is 2D platforms version of SMT bullshit. There are lots of to play with that I hope players can use to push past the boundaries of what we as the developers know about the game. Is, is that a pog I have cannon? Two types of favorite the stories shit. from Spelunky fans. First are when people are genuinely surprised by something that happened in the game. Speaking of SMT, you finished for I saw. Where people shared a fun experience I was kind of half looking. Family and multiplayer. These are the stories I wanted to expand upon in Spelunky 2. Matt, I don't trust your really opinion on what's mid or good. Choices. You have iffy taste at After best. After releasing Spelunky, I knew there was a lot more that could be done with the concept in the world. Knowing that possibility was out there is what's Spunky been Spelunky 1 was in 2012, kind of can't believe they couldn't make a sequel for eight years. In a lot of ways, when Spelunky 2 comes out, there might have been players some to experience what we experienced making it. That feeling that there's something special there waiting See, for See, this is why I love you, Matt. If I if I talk shit, I'm it usually accurate enough. Waited patiently for us to finish Spelunky 2. It's been a long journey, but I think it's going to be worth it. Thanks. This looks like fun. I'll probably pick it up, like, a year later. This looks like one of those games. And it's got a release date! Hell yeah! It's probably gonna get an LRG. I'm usually really accurate when I talk shit. It's because I pay more attention than people think. updates to share with you, starting with a closer look at Genshin Impact. That sounds like some weeb shit. Teko Taku saved the world! That is, this is some weeb shit! Hey, there's something strange over there. Come on, let's I'm actually gonna turn my game down a little bit, because I'm gonna start yelling. Short shorts, okay, okay. Cool. This actually cool. looks cool, but it still looks like weeb shit. This does look like Breath of the Wild, but weeb. Yeah, and if that was Laura Bailey, this is weeb shit! But also, I like Laura Bailey, so... If you cannot bring yourself to kill, speak my name. It actually looks like it's going for a more Chinese aesthetic than Japanese, which I'm all for. To which I awaken. Looks amazing until you have the HUD on. That's fair. Okay, but what's this? I claim your mind for the Is that? Who is that? I know who you are. Okay. Okay. This ambition of yours. What a waste of stardust. I like this art style a lot. But this does this also doesn't look like a video game. This looks pre-rendered. I love how it looks though. 
I love the synthwave soundtrack that I'm hearing. Oh wait, no! Face in the gut! Face in the gut! Ooh! Aeon, that's a solid logo. Oh, this is the SCP game! Let's fucking go! I was actually super curious about the SCP game. Show me more. Show me more of this SCP bullshit. Come on. I actually wonder if they're gonna lean in on the actual SCP shit, or if it's just gonna take place in a universe like that. What'd you miss? Uh, not much. You missed Aeon Must Die, which looks cool. Uh, yeah, it could be leaning into the- That looks like a Red Sea object. That- That's a Red Sea object. Woo, okay, it's leaning in. It's just also doing cyberpunk bullshit. Okay, I need to know where in the lore that takes place. Let's check out some gameplay. Bug snacks! The PS5. best psyop! My invitation is open! Look, more Come SCP bullshit! Me on the island of Wow. That's your new lead? Another monster hunt? Elizabeth Megafig is a two-bit con artist! Don't tell me you actually believe this half-baked nonsense! I swear, if you chase this Half bug baked like the story, bagel monster. you're out of a job! You're the journalist! This bird said you'd be coming. <laughs> There's a bug snack. There's something about there. that. Do me a oh. favor and take my snack track. Looks like first person hey, Pokemon stranger, almost. I could use your help. This bunger goes wild for ketchup. Use it to lead the bunger over yonder. The I bunger? I to use that journalistic instinct. To find out what my favorite string is. carry on a string. <laughs> Surprised the state of play isn't complete ass. Loki, it's because there's shit to look forward to. You're pretty good at stuff, and nobody hates you yet. Actually, no. This is Slime Rancher. And bring everybody back to Snacksburg. This is Slime Rancher. I'm excited. But there was also well, body horror well, shit. Say you do find these bug snacks and make it back alive. You just might keep your job. Now get going and try not to fall off a cliff. I mean, the main character is a journalist, so they can just find another... What? Yo! Was that a weird flying pizza stingray? More in store. Let's start with an update on an eagerly awaited PlayStation VR game. What? Uh, really? What the force is wrong with you? Uh, who knows? Might be good. Might be good. But I remember the last Star Wars gimmick. Remember Connect Star Wars? You must stop the I don't understand why you never mentioned that you had the force. Hmm. Not EA? Is it not EA? I mean, this looks fun. I, uh, I'm not a fan of the fact that you have arms in this. I don't like arms in VR. This looks alright. But not like a VR bestseller. But it's also episodic? That's fine. That's not a turnoff for me like it is for other people. I think being turned off by the episodic format is the dumbest bullshit. Oh, is this the Stanley Parable thing that Whatever was you do, being talked about? Stay in the light. 
No. No, it isn't. Remedy. Oh, it's control. But wait. Let's see where this goes. Because it might be an Alan Wake crossover. Oh, let's control the LC for sure. Whenever I see a Remedy logo, I always want it to be Alan Wake. Wait. AWE makes me assume was controlled Keck or Crunch, it was pretty Keck. I AWE sounds like it means Alan Wake expansion to me. Is this the Dota Auto Chess? I think it is. No, this is uh, Dota Underlords, I think. Uh, look, dude, if we get a proper Alan Wake game, I'm going to die. I'm going to fucking die because I nut so hard I lost all the water in my body. Oh no, it's just a game called Auto Chess. Fuck? Let's a hard look like White Snake attacked me. This looks cool. Oh, that looks really cool. I can see this getting infuriating really quick. Is that game a DLC? Yeah, that's, uh, the second Control DLC. Actually, hey, let me bring you all closer. So that I don't have to so that I don't have to scream. At least have the mic in frame. Oh, this has gotta be... Pedestrian. It looks okay! Doesn't look like a game changer, but it looks okay. Now let's take a look at two new games headed to PS5. Okay. We are the forest shadows. Ghosts. Running silently Ooh. between the straight, Ooh. cold lines of a corrupt state. A whoa? Is this Witcher? They count, ration, manipulate. Probably isn't, but... They've taken everything from those they claim to protect. This could also be Werewolf, depending on when Werewolf takes place. Will not stop us. Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Maybe? Wait, no. Bypass defenses and strike at the heart. I think this might be the werewolf game. If we get any of the World of Darkness projects announced, I'll fucking... I will s just gleefully scream. And the people call us heroes. Yeah, what is this? Please give me a title. Because I want to know if I should be excited or not. Like, I hate that I have to phrase it like that, but I... I want to know if I should care. Also, look at that. Look at all this. That start, that's making it... We are all outlaws. Hood Outlaws and Legends. I'll keep an eye on this, but I don't expect it to be good. Legends. 
Uh, not explicitly a Robin Hood game, it looks like. It looks Someday. like it's trying to get that time period. Eh, Temtem was okay. Can't say anything bad about it. I remember when, uh, I watched Pat stream it and he was a horrific black mass because the game glitched. Eh, it looked really generic, but like, whatever. Honestly, if it plays well, I don't care. Like, my tier list of like the three pillars that people talk about, I care about gameplay, frame rate, graphics. Those are the three in order. Speaking of that cute puppy he got, yeah, Zangief is cute. I, Temtem looks interesting, but it looks interesting in the Before way of up, like. Let's take a tour of Godfall. We've got new PS5 gameplay. For so I am curious about Randy's weird cyber fantasy. And that's the trailer. They started Hello. off really strong. My name is I'll Keith Lee, and I am the game director for God. I'll leave it. On behalf of Cowboy um, Games, we are very I'll excited give to the share gameplay with you today. State of play some slack for this one. Into the mystical world of Godfall. Today, you'll be seeing extensive gameplay captured on a PlayStation 5 development. How's Gearbox actually damaging to the in industry? Mind that the game is still a work in progress, and some things may change from the final product as we continue to learn and harness the power of Sony. Like, all I really console. know about them is Please that they're kind of shit sometimes. So let's jump right into what Godfall is. Because Godfall Randy Pitchford, yeah, but what does Randy Pitchford specifically do? To I don't take and because Randy Pitchford as the reason it's you can enjoy the damaging. Game your pace, playing alone or through online co-op with up to two additional teammates. Godfall is set in a brand new high fantasy yeah, like, see, universe. That I can kind of get, except I'd say that Ubisoft, Activision, realms. Blizzard, EA, the they're all worse. Elemental realms of earth, water, and air, I'm not saying that Gearbox is good. Gearbox Godfall hasn't been good in a long time. They haven't been good since Borderlands 1. Or unlocked through and even then, I'm there aware no that Borderlands 1 no waiting for I content. don't believe you. It's all in the game on day one. I don't believe you. As you adventure, you'll get to tear through enemies to challenge um, a mad god but like, who awaits you even that, at the top. I accept the fact you play a Valorian knight, that a god -like warrior, able to equip Valor players, Borderlands only exists because Gearbox stole money. Master of melee combat. Throughout your journey, you'll find ancient Valor plates lost in time. I mean, if they're the legitimate about long there's history. no microtransactions, okay, but I don't now believe you until it's in my hands. In Godfall. First, our team wanted to do something different. We wanted to combine action RPG loot progression with third-person melee combat to create what we think is a looter slasher. No, um, Borderlands only exists because Gearbox stole money from Sega words, from their budget of Colonial Marines. We find exquisite weapons with powerful loot traits, but we also want you to have that feeling of accomplishment for mastering the wide set Pride of and accomplishment available to you in Godfall. Pride and accomplishment, from huh? That philosophy perspective. The melee combat in Godfall is Uh, included, did he physically fluid, dynamic, assault an employee? Yes, David Eddings. I talked to him about that on Twitter, actually. Eddings was very willing to tell me what happened. Enemies at the same time. Uh, you can actually probably result, find that, um... Be moving and closing you can actually still probably find that... Also, you dominate the uh, space, not the enemies. Fred, because it was public. You for being aggressive. Because I asked him. Now that you're familiar with the combat philosophy, let's dig into the weapons themselves. In Godfall, there are five weapon classes. I like the architecture, if I'm gonna compliment anything. The dual blades. Those look like Kratos the chains. Polar. 
the two-handed warhammer. At the same time, by the way, note that Ranty seems nowhere to be found when Godfall is talked about. I'm Each curious as to why. Has their own unique move sets and play styles, ranging from fast combos to more strategic, deliberate play. This looks closer to Monster Hunter than it Monster Hunter or God of War than it does for each uh, category, Devil May Cry. With their own primary and secondary I only bring that up because someone said Diablo May Cry in chat. Date, we will delve into the weapon classes. I don't know. I'm like to I'm gonna side eye this game detail. For now, as it comes out, we'll but like the dual blades I don't expect it to be great. Weapon classes. The or maybe closer to Sekiro, actually. Class in Godfall embodying speed, fluidity, and mobility. The dual blades are exceptional against soft, uh, unarmored targets or single targets. You can perform a combo... Yeah, that shield animation is from God of War 2018. Uh, but that's probably because Sony's bankrolling it a little bit, I'd assume. The blade cyclone can also be used as a finisher at the end of your light attack combo. So what are the signature moves for the dual blades? As you build up charge, you can also activate inner focus. Just looks like boneless warframe. Blades, which inflicts massive How much warframe have you played? This looks nothing like it. There's also mortal coil where you can throw your blade into an enemy, pulling the enemy towards you like pulling a cable. Now let's How do you look worse than warframe? Long swords because are warframe's good. Embodying crisp damage and simple cooldowns. There's just no content right now. Combo setups. As in, like, Similar if you're into blades, Warframe, you've done all the content and there's nothing new to do. Attack combo. Then there's the heavy attack finisher, which can be used at the end of your Also, Warframe looks combo. gorgeous at max settings. There are three signature moves for the Longsword class. There's Spectral Flurry, which cannot be interrupted and deals high damage to multiple nearby targets. Then there's Spiral Technique, which eviscerates all enemies in the Here's if there's a multiplayer path. to this. Notice there's a white flash after a longsword swing called a timing attack. If you press the Paper shield Mario button exactly when? at the same time, you'll perform a devastating shield uppercut with your longsword. The shield is a core Warframe, part of Warframe, some less of a system hog, get my max craft with some monster on world with reshade on. That's because uh, Warframe is well optimized. With your shield. If you press the shield button at the right time, you can also parry and attack. Paper Luigi 64 when? Form a light attack good deck. Good after question. Last second shield block to counter attack with a powerful shield strike. The shield is great not just for defense, but also offense. You can aim and throw your shield, which will hit multiple nearby targets. If you tap the shield button just as you catch your shield, you can perform a powerful wave attack. You can double tap the shield button to petrify enemies. That's cool. This is still going. Yeah, course, this is going you way can too long. An R3 ground finisher on enemies that were knocked down to the ground. Like, the only reason I'm not getting up and just using the bathroom is because I'm streaming. Because I actually can't do that. Is that just Reinhardt? Might as well fucking be. Trying to have a little, it's trying to have a little bit of everything. It's probably uh, it's a lot of nothing. I don't know. We will see when it comes out. Because I can see that this has potential, but it just kind of looks like God of War 2016 uh, with more variation. Or, God of War 2018? God of War PS4. This looks like God of War PS4 with less to, with more to it, actually. But less intrigue. Because I wasn't playing God of War PS4 for the gameplay or anything. I was playing it for the story. Because Kratos looked like a good character for once. And he kind of was for once. But I fucking hate Kratos, so it takes a lot to convince me otherwise. Set of bolts punches, that enemy will be blade dash punches. Oh, you, you're right. We hope you enjoyed our first walkthrough video of Godfall running on the PlayStation 5. I really did. We also want to thank all the fans for their endless support. Wait, I'll feign interest. Give me a second. Am I looking right at the camera? We cool. have a few more surprises coming down the road, such as details on loot and progression, and are there eager we go. to share more with you on our way to launch this holiday season. We hope that you will join our Godfall community on Twitter, 
Facebook, and Keep in mind that this game is limited by people who may or may not be playing your playstyle or to your skill standards, which is something that throws me off in a lot of games, actually. That's fair. Um... So, yeah. We're probably gonna... That's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed this peek into the future of PlayStation. I liked the first time. half. Alright, so that's... That's the thing. That's... that's the event! Uh, so I have to pee, so I'm gonna make this short. Uh, give me like an hour. Give me until like... at 6 p.m. EST. I'm gonna try to queue up Frog Fractions. But, like, uh, I would explain my thoughts, but I really have to pee. So, if you enjoyed this and stuck around, thanks a fucking lot. I really appreciate it. I love the shit out of that. Um, there are links below the YouTube video, uh, Twitch stream, Twitch VOD. Um, th there are links below that that show shit like the community discord and the, um, donation link. But also... The game I wanted, uh, funded. Got funded. Thank you for funding Student Union, the people who did. Uh, I'm gonna end this off. I really have to pee. Be back in, like, an hour if you're watching live.